everybody. Welcome to Step by Step Stories. Thank you very much for um, following us on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, we are going to be talking a little bit today about concussions. My name is Mrs. Digby and we're going to get started. So what is a concussion? A concussion is when you have a brain injury. All right. Your brain is made up of something called soft tissues and those soft tissues when they get hit, when you fall down, they can start to swell, all right? So a concussion happens when there's swelling in that soft tissue. What holds the soft tissue in place is something called spinal fluid. So if the spinal fluid wiggles and jiggles in your brain and it kind of dislodges a little bit, that's going to cause a concussion. That's what they will call it. So how does a concussion happen? Nowadays, a lot of us are trying out different things. We're doing different sports. We're trying out different activities. Concussions happen when you fall and hit your head. So you can fall and hit your head. Okay. They can happen if your head gets shaken. very firmly and they can happen if somebody hits you okay so i'm going to put down a blow okay so a blow to your head that can cause a concussion and the tricky thing about concussions though is that you know what you may not necessarily even know that you have a concussion because the symptoms can happen even a few days after but some of the things that you will feel if you do have a concussion is you may feel obviously pain. Okay, you may get a really, really, really bad headache. You may feel a little bit disoriented. Okay, not really sure people around you, you're not really sure what's going on. You're feeling a little bit dazed and confused. And you may faint or lose consciousness. These things happen regardless actually even if these things happen but especially if these things happen you need to go to a doctor immediately and the doctor will tell you probably to rest. You may have to have a few tests done at a hospital and really you want to make sure that you stay away from getting your brain re-injured okay so to slow down okay slow down and prevent further injury so that takes us to the last part of our lesson which is about how do you prevent concussions from happening number one you need to wear protective equipment Okay, protective equipment. When you're out riding your bike, that's why you need to wear a helmet. In fact, interesting story. When you do go out, a friend of mine, he was in a bike accident. He was uh, riding his bike in Toronto and he fell. The interesting thing about it, the fall was fortunately he's okay, but his bike helmet cracked in half. And what the hospital did when they saw his helmet is that they take they took the helmet and they sent it off to um, to the helmet factory so that they could look at the helmet, see where the you know where the weaker parts were, and make even better helmets. Okay, if he wasn't wearing that helmet, that would have been his brain. Okay, so make sure you wear protective equipment. The next thing that you need to do is wear your seatbelt. Okay. If you're in an accident, your body is going to shake. There's no two ways about it. Wearing a seatbelt is going to help keep your head and the rest of your body in one place and safer. And the last thing about it is stay away from fights. Seems kind of strange. But it does happen, okay? If somebody is threatening you, if somebody is 
coming at you. If you feel like you're obviously in an unsafe position and somebody may try and hit you, back down, back away, don't get involved. Your body is very, very precious. You need to make sure, and especially your brain, your brain is the computer of your body. So look after it, take care of it, step back if you're in, if you're in a situation where you think you may injure it, and thank you so much for joining us. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye now.